They screaming peace when they ain't no peace. Israel prophesying in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah coming with a vision. Coming with a Family. Look at this. All 12 tribes. Check this out. Alright, I forgot. What's your name again, bro? Vader. Vader. What's your name, bro? Huh? Jordan? Jordan. Jordan. Vader and Jordan. Judah. One of the 12 tribes of, the, uh, of children of Israel. Israel was a man. Had 12 sons. These, these are the names of his 12 sons. His sons gave birth to 12 tribes of people. That's but they right. all come from one nation. Right. 12 tribes in one nation. So, we can categorize ourselves as those Israelites, the sons of Israel. We know that the American blacks would be the tribe of Judah. The so-called West Indian blacks, the people that's in Haiti, I mean, uh, I mean, in Trinidad, Jamaica, the islands, Canary, all that, you know, Benjamin, that was one of his sons. How we know it, because all those things we just read about the slave ships scattered throughout the world, they happened to all these groups of people. They didn't happen to nobody else. Right. They happened to these groups of people on down. Into the, it, look, even into the Hispanics, we think those ain't our people. And they think that we ain't their people. But that's that divide and conquer tactic because who taught us that? That we wasn't the same people. The white man, the that's man that came right. over here, put us in chains, and then said, here, go to my school. Right. That's right. You see what I'm saying? No, we the same people, 12 tribes, one nation. That's right. right. You understand? But all these things are familiar to us. Those things happen to us. Now read on. You only have I known. Read from the top. Listen to this. Listen to this, Veda. Jordan, check this out. Here's what God said to his people. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, so he said, this is what I'm saying, what? Right? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. He said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Really? Everybody that's on the earth, you the only ones I know. That's Why? right. Read. Therefore, I will punish you. For all your iniquities. What they sound like to you? They sound like these my kids. Them other folk ain't my kids. So you got any kids, Vader? You got any children? You got any children? Well, you got children. All right. You tell you you got a uh, boys and girls. Girls. You got one girl. You tell your daughter. Look, don't be over here in this little boy's face. If you come over here, you need to go the other way. Tell him get out your face. Now, if you see her over there smiling all in his face and kiss him on the cheek, you gonna whoop who? You probably, I don't even, I'm just, yeah. but you gonna want to jack him up, but what you gonna do? You gonna deal with who kids first? You gonna deal with your kids, right? You tell your daughter don't go across the street, and she go across the street, and she over there playing with the other kids. They parents might have told them, right? They parents might have told them, right? Don't, uh, don't go across the street. But when they see their kids, they gonna snatch their kids up. So that's what God's saying. Read it again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. See, that's why we get punished, cause we the only ones that made that agreement. You gotta move your car. Move your car, come back over here, bro. Move your car, come back over here. Cause you, look, I'm finna show you some more stuff that's really important to your life, man. This gonna be you and never be the same when you actually get this understanding and get this down in you, bro. I got one question. All right. I just got one question. All right. Why, look, okay, let me show you this. Okay, give me, give me Isaiah 28. All right, because the original language of the, uh, the Israelites is what? Hebrew. All right. Do you speak Hebrew? Did, did you catch one we read earlier that God said he was going to scatter us among all nations? Into all different nations, right? So we was going to be scattered to all nations. Then he said we were going to be sold to our enemies, right? When we were sold to our enemies, let me give you one more curse and I'm going to explain your uh, question, all right? All right, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 48, all right? Deuteronomy 28 and 48. This is the curse that's showing it's identifying the agreement that the Israelites made with God. So this part of the agreement, this part of what God said would happen to them if they broke the deal. Listen. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. The therefore is, therefore because you broke my deal, shall you serve your enemies, not your friends, your enemies. All right. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which God said, which I'm going to send against you. I'm going to send them against you because they're going to be my whooping tool for you. They're going to be the belt. Read. And hunger. And hunger. When you're hungry, you have to go to them and serve them. So, do we own any of these stores, so-called black people? Nah, we don't really own nothing in our own neighborhoods, right? Other nations, Chinese, Arab, white man. 
All that. They own all this stuff, right? It said, you got to serve your enemies when you're hungry. We got to go to their establishment. Three. We got to buy resources from them. And then thirst. And then thirst when we thirsty. You put MLG and W. You got to pay that? Yeah, you got to pay that. Do we own, do we run that as a people? Hell no. The other people do. Read. And then nakedness. And then nakedness. Clothing. Clothing. Now we pick cotton, but do we own the resources of the cotton fields and stuff? Mm -hmm. And then want of all things. What? And then want of all things. And want, it mean in need. In need of all things, we got to serve them. That mean education. All right. That mean anything. Education, you want to learn about God. We had to go to their churches. That's why they threw white Jesus at us, right? All right. We had to go to them in what? Ed like education mean like what? Now we brought over here for 400 years and they, you were, you were aware that they told us that we couldn't read and write, right? You get caught reading or writing, you would get killed, all right? So now you get brought over here to a place and then they're taking your heritage and your language and your thoughts and the way that your people do stuff from you. So what you gotta learn? You gotta learn what they teach you. You also gotta learn what? Now we, we spoke a different language before. All right, well now, just say you didn't know nothing about the Israelites, but you know we got brought over here into slavery on slave ships. Did you do you think we spoke English beforehand? No, uh, we had to learn. We had to, we had to learn English. All right, so whatever land that you scattered it, you got to learn that language. All right, so so you had to go to your enemies for that, right? So we learn our enemies' language now. All right, but we just listen to what God said. God knew that He was going to put His people in other lands and make them learn the enemy's language. So listen what he said. Go to Isaiah 28. Verse. 28 starts with verse 10. Alright. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28 and verse 10. Bring it out. For precept must be upon precept. Start 9. Verse 9. Whom shall they teach knowledge? So whom is God going to teach his knowledge? Now that not that my people scattered throughout all the world, among their nations, they say they enemies, they hate them. Who am I going to teach my knowledge to? But how am I going to teach them now? Because they don't speak Hebrew no more. They don't speak their languages no more. How am I going to teach them? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Uh -huh. Them that are weaned from the, them that are weaned from the milk. The milk is talking about all the basics of the scriptures. The, the very basic law. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You know, thou shalt not uh, murder. I mean, you know, steal, kill. You got to keep the Sabbath like today. You got to keep it holy. These are basic laws and stuff. God said, when you win from it and start to learn, progress more in your understanding, I'm going to start to teach you more. Read. And draw it from the breast. Uh, read. For precept must be upon precept. Uh, precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. The precept upon precept part is not the part I want, really want to concentrate on. But God is telling you, you got to learn precept upon precept. You got to understand this law connects to that law, this to that. Line upon line. Here a little, here in the Old Testament, some here in the New Testament to get a clear understanding of what's going on in my word. You can't just read Matthew, the book of Psalms and Proverbs, Luke and John, and think that you understand God. No, you got to read the whole Bible. Here a little, there a little to under, get full understandings of topics that the God is trying to teach you. Read. For with stammering lips. For with stammering lips. All right, read. And another tongue. And another what? And another tongue. And another language. Will he speak to his pe to this people? Will God speak to his people? Because guess what? Now with another language he got to talk to us. He got to talk to us in English. So now the Bible has to be translated from Hebrew. When we were in the uh, under the Greeks at one time, then our people spoke Latin. Greek and Roman language. Right. We started speaking that. We translated our Bible into that language then. Alright? Then, now we brought over here into uh, America. The King James, which was a black man, this is a thing that people don't know, in history, had the Bible translated into English because at one point in time, the white man had our Bible again, right. trying to dictate how we learned it. And said, nah, I'm going to read it. And they reading it in Latin, which our people didn't speak no more. Right. So then, King James said, you know what? I want this Bible translated into English so my people can read it themselves and don't got to have the enemies dictating the words to them because that's what happened to us in slavery. They said, slaves obey your master. Boom, close the Bible. And then give you no understanding behind what they're really talking about. You see what I'm saying? So the Bible got to be in the language that you speak because who created the languages? God created the languages. Yeah. God created the languages. He confused all the languages at the Tower of Babel. This is back in Genesis chapter 7. Alright. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you this. Why I translated so many times. Just go and steal into your question. Genesis chapter 7, I think I want 11. Yeah, read verse 1. The book of Genesis chapter 11 and verse 1. So look, at one point, everybody on earth spoke the same thing. But watch what God said. And the whole 
earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. So this is in the beginning, right? God said at one point everybody in the whole earth was in one tongue and one speech, right? right? And then they found this one area that they wanted to kick it in and stay right there, everybody. But that's really going against what the Lord said from the beginning. He said, be, uh, be fruitful and multiply and spread throughout the earth and to do it. So he wanted everybody to spread all over the earth. But we said, the people said, no, we all talk and we speak the same thing. Let's stay right here. This is good. This is a good spot for us. Read. And they dwelt there. And they said one to another, go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had and they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. Read on. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. So these people had the idea, said, we're going to build a tower that's going, that can reach all the way to heaven. Well, God is. We're going to build a building to get to where he is. So, let's see what they say. Because they all speak one language. Everybody can communicate the same way. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Said, let us make us a name. Let us make us a name. That, so we won't be scattered throughout the earth, like God told us to do. Read. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower. So God said, let me go check this out. What they doing down here? Which the children of men build it. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Now everybody can communicate, just like it started to become today, right? We got the internet. Like before, you couldn't talk to somebody in Africa and in China and in uh, Mozambique all at the same time. Now we can just get on here and then we got Google Translate. They can, you can, I don't speak the language, but I can make sure I can talk to all these people. When you can do that amongst all different groups of people, what happens? Evil started to happen. God said, we ain't, you ain't finna think of nothing good to do. What y'all gonna do is get together and think of something bad. Y'all gonna think that y'all can get up here where I'm at. Y'all gonna think to uh, make weapons of mass destruction together. Y'all gonna, that's what people do. Right. When they start information sharing throughout different cultures. God didn't ever want that. He said, go, split up, populate the earth. You go over here, you go over here. You people go over here, you people go over here. And y'all stay separate. That's what right. how God wanted it. But when you get together and you can all speak the same thing, evil started to happen. That's right. So look what God said. Go to, let us go down and there confound their language. He said, okay, let us go down. You mean the angels of Christ, let's go down and confuse their language. That they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth. And they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel. Therefore it was called Babel, like people babbling. Babylon, that's where they come from. Confusion. So the Lord went down and confused the stuff and said, you know what? Then they left. Now they can't understand each other. So now we got a little, hey, the blueprints we had, I can't read it because I speak something different now. I speak something. All right, now we got to go and do what the Lord says. Spread out and get scattered. So God made the language of himself. So it ain't no language that he ain't understood. It. And he don't, he can't talk to you. Yet. So that's why he said, go back to Isaiah 28 and the part I want. For in another tongue. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse... 18 and 28 in verse verse 12 verse 11 for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people to whom he said this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the, the weary to rest the word that I'm going to speak to you in whatever language is the rest that I should call you to rest that's in. right and this is the refreshing yet they would not hear but the word of the Lord was unto them precept upon precept precept upon precept line upon line Line upon line, here a little and there a little. You're still going to learn the Bible the same way in whatever language. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Whether you speak Arabic, Chinese, whether the children of Israel are scattered in any land, we can learn what God's saying. Come, guess what? Right. Thou shalt not kill, translate across every language. That's right. Killing is killing, right? In any language, right? Thou shalt not commit adultery, sleep with another man's wife. That's, that's universal across any language. It don't change. God lost trap. It ain't no language that he can't be understood in. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.